Now that we've got this basic card structure in place, let's work on making the text content over here feel a little bit more designed. So I'm gonna start by setting up some reasonable defaults. Right now we're just seeing the browser sort of default styles here, which is just some black text. So when I wanna add typography defaults to my projects, the way I do it is by adding classes to sort of the root element for the project. In a Vue CLI app, the place that I would do that is just at the very top level div in my app component. In a plain old HTML project, you might be adding this to the body tag or the HTML tag in your root HTML file. So let's add a class after we here and talk through a couple reasonable defaults. So the first one that I like to add is anti-alias. And what this does is it tells the browser to use regular anti-aliasing instead of sub-pixel anti-aliasing. Now the details of this are a little bit beyond the scope of this lesson, but suffice to say that regular anti-aliasing looks a lot crisper on modern high DPI displays like retina displays than sub-pixel anti-aliasing looks. The next thing I like to do is choose a reasonable default text color. So right now, again, it's black, but I like to use sort of a dark gray instead. I find it a little bit softer and a little less jarring on the eyes. So I'll usually go with something like text gray 900, which is almost black, but a little bit lighter. So it feels a little bit more natural. I think this is enough to get us started, so why don't we head back over to the card and start working on these individual pieces of text. So the first thing I want to look at is the title. Right now the title is sort of really just kind of blending in with all the other content. I think it's probably a good idea for this title to sort of stand out and really feel like the primary piece of content in this card. So there's a couple ways that we can do that. Uh, the first one is to play with the font weight. So right now we're just using sort of a regular 400 font weight for all of this text. So why don't we try making the title a little bit bolder. The way I usually do this is just sort of playing around with the classes that Tailwind exposes and seeing which one I like. I might start with something like font bold and think, you know what, mm, maybe that's a little bit bolder than I want. Maybe I'll try font semi bold. Yeah, that kind of makes it pop a little bit, but doesn't feel like super, super thick. Next, maybe I'll play with the font size. So right now we're just using the regular font size, which is 16 pixels by default. But we could try text LG to see if that feels good. Yeah, that feels pretty good. A lot of time I like to try the next step up as well, just to sort of make sure that the one before it was a good value. So in this case, I think text XL is maybe a little bit too big. So that makes me feel confident about going with text LG. Now, the other element that we could play with to sort of make this title stand out is the color. Uh, but right now we already have it set to text gray 900, which is sort of the darkest color that I'm willing to go with. And if we make it any lighter, well, that's actually gonna sort of de-emphasize it, not actually emphasize it. So I think if we wanna really keep working on making this title pop, we actually need to focus on sort of de-emphasizing some of the surrounding content. So why don't we start with maybe this three beds, three baths text. Uh, why don't we try changing the color of this to sort of de-emphasize it a little bit. So we'll add a class here and maybe we'll try something like text gray 800. Okay, that's very subtle. Maybe something like text gray 500. Okay, I think that's a little bit too light, kind of hard to read. Uh, what about text gray 600? Yeah, that is a lot easier to read, but still clearly sort of de-emphasized compared to the title. Now, another thing that we can play with here is the font size of this text. So we can maybe bring it down to something like text SM, and that de-emphasizes it a little bit more, or we could even go so far as to bring it down to something like text XS. Now, I think on its own, this is maybe a little bit too small, but I wanna show you a trick that I like to use uh, with really small text uh, to make it a little bit more legible and also sort of make the design feel a little bit more interesting as well. So a treatment that is pretty common that I really like is to go with really small but uppercase text and actually make it a little bit bolder as well. So we can go with something like maybe font semi-bold here as well. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, the thing about uppercase text though, is sometimes it can be hard to read because the letters kind of feel cramped together. So what you'll see people do really frequently is actually add a little bit of letter spacing when you use uppercase text to make it a little bit easier to sort of discern the different characters. So in Tailwind, we can do that using something like tracking wide. So that'll make it a little bit wider. That goes all the way up to tracking widest, you know, which is really wide letter spacing. Uh, we can actually make this tight too if we wanted, right? So we can go tracking tight or tracking tighter. Now this isn't what we wanna do with uppercase text, but it just kind of shows you how that scale sort of works. I think something like tracking wide, which is just a little bit of letter spacing will look pretty good. Okay, now what about this uh, pricing section below here? How can we sort of style this to sort of look a little bit better? Right now it just kind of looks pretty vanilla, right? It's just all the same color, all the same size. Uh, so what can we sort of do to make this a little bit more exciting? Well, one thing that we can do is look for opportunities to sort of de-emphasize things that aren't that important. So I think the price probably is important. People do want to see that. 
Um, but this per week stuff, yeah, that's important as well. But I think we could play with that a little bit to make this look a little bit more interesting uh, without sort of losing the meaning. So why don't we try de-emphasizing this a little bit to sort of emphasize the price a little bit more and see how that impacts the overall look. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this down to a new line and wrap it in a span so we can target it. Why don't we try making it um, a little bit lighter? So maybe we'll try that same text gray 600 that we used for the bathroom text. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. And, and maybe we'll make it a little bit smaller even too. So we could go like text SM. Yeah, I think that kind of looks nice. Now, one thing I don't really love about what we have here is um, things kind of feel a little bit unbalanced. We have this sort of like big title, then like some small text, then like some normal text again. It, it kind of gives us sort of a weird feeling, a little bit of a weird flow. Um, something that I see people do a lot that I think actually looks really cool is to move some of this content actually above the title to sort of balance things out a little bit. People often refer to this as sort of like an eyebrow text treatment. I'll show you what it kind of looks like. If we grab this stuff, we can move it above the title. And something about this just looks so much nicer and cleaner to my eyes. It makes this thing feel a lot more balanced. I like how sort of the emphasized text is sort of in the middle and it's sort of a little bit more symmetrical on both sides. Something about it just looks really professional to me. Okay, so what about this rating stuff at the bottom? It's looking sort of a little bit cramped next to all this stuff, a little bit big maybe. Um, so why don't we play with this, try and maybe separate it out from this information to make it kind of feel like an independent thing and uh, try and style it so it kind of draws attention to maybe the rating a little bit and just try and make it look good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of space above this text so it's not butted right up against all this information. So we have a little bit of breathing room. So why don't we add um, a class here? Maybe we'll do something like uh, MT2, see what that looks like. Yeah, it helps a little bit, but I think we can maybe go even more aggressive, maybe like MT4. Let's try MT6, uh, that's too much. So I think maybe something like MT4 is probably good. Now, why don't we try giving uh, this sort of information, this sort of text in parentheses, the same treatment that we gave to per week here to sort of de-emphasize it since it's not really that important. So I'm gonna pull this down. I'm gonna wrap this in a span. And we'll do class text gray 600 text SM to sort of keep that consistent. Uh, see what that looks like. Yeah, that's already looking a little bit better to me. Uh, now, what about this four out of five stars thing? Right now, it just sort of has the same treatment as the price, which, you know, it's not bad, but I think we can maybe play with it uh, to make it even more sort of exciting, especially since it's kind of important information to sort of get people to know, yeah, this is like a good property. Um, so one thing that we haven't tried at all with this text is introducing um, any real color. We've just sort of been playing with gray. So why don't we try giving this like uh, some sort of accent color to make it stand out a little bit more. So I'm gonna wrap this in a span too so that we uh, have the ability to target it. And why don't we try like um, a teal? Maybe we'll do like text teal 500. Uh, it's a little bit hard to read, a little bit light maybe. Maybe we'll try like text teal 600. Yeah, that's a little bit easier to read, but I actually think um, maybe even increasing the font weight might help a little bit here too and make it pop a little bit more. Uh, so again, maybe we'll try like font bold to start. And that's a little bit too aggressive. Uh, maybe font semi bold like we've been using. Yeah, and I think that looks pretty good. Now, the last thing that I think is uh, worth addressing here is a common thing people forget to do when they're building components like this and sort of designing them is accounting for sort of awkward uh, sample data. So right now, if we check out what we have here, we just have this like modern home in city center. It's like short text, so it doesn't wrap. But if we had like a longer string here, something like this, modern executive home in the heart of historic Los Angeles, uh, well, all of a sudden uh, this text wraps and we sort of have to think about, well, how do we want to handle this? Uh, one thing that sticks out to me once I see this text wrapping is that all of a sudden we sort of have equal space between the text here and the text here, which makes it not quite quite as obvious that this text is sort of connected and this text is separate. I always think it's a good idea from a design perspective um, to make sure that sort of the line height between your text um, is always sort of smaller than the margins between the surrounding elements. So that the wrapped text still feels sort of nice and connected and doesn't just feel like, you know, three lines of wrapping text. We want this to sort of feel cohesive and this to feel separate. So a couple of different ways we can approach this, right? Um, one is to just add a little bit of extra margin above this maybe to make it sort of a little bit more disconnected. Uh, so why don't we try that out and see how that looks. So we'll just add a class to this section. Um, I like to use top margins more often than bottom margins because um, something about the fact that when you add a top margin to the element, making that element move 
feels better to me than when you add a bottom margin to an element and that actually pushes away other content. I like the idea of the element that I'm adding the classes to being the element that actually changes. So that's why I kind of stick with top margins most of the time. So we could try something like MT2 here and yeah, maybe that's a little bit too much space. Uh, maybe MT1, yeah, this pushes away a little bit so it kind of feels a little bit better. Um, but maybe we can sort of make up the difference by adjusting the line height on this title. Uh, so I think by default, we've got a line height of 1.5, just coming from our sort of base styles. Uh, so why don't we tighten that up a little bit to see what this looks like. So we can do that using the letting utilities. So why don't we try uh, something like letting none to start, kind of the tightest one. And, you know, of course, that's a little bit too tight to me. Uh, we could go with something like letting tight. That looks pretty reasonable. The other option, I think, is letting snug, which is not quite as tight. I actually think uh, letting tight was probably the nicest looking one here. Now, something else to consider is that if you're going to have multiple of these cards on the same page, where the text is wrapping in some and not wrapping in the others, that can lead to the cards being different in height, which can make things just look kind of sloppy and messy. So another approach that you might want to consider um, that kind of deals with this wrapping problem in sort of a totally different way is just to truncate this text. Now you can do that in Tailwind using the truncate utility, which is just going to let us sort of overflow off to the right and replace the trailing text uh, with ellipses. Now, I think this is probably the best solution in our case because I don't want the cards to be different height if we have multiple of them on the screen at the same time. But I do think that the changes that we made to account for the word wrapping actually improved the design anyways. I think this is the letting we would want if we did want to let this text wrap. And I think that little bit of extra space we added above this pricing section kind of helps this stand out a little bit um, without having to make it big or bold or anything so it's not competing too much with the title. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Uh, but in the next lesson, why don't we see if there's a way that we can introduce maybe some iconography to make this star rating look even more interesting than it does now.